Today, we painting goldfish. You can paint on paper, canvas, or even metal cups. I don't know. But, obviously gonna need something to paint on. I have a miniature canvas because, why not? Water. There's a rock in there because some of my smaller brushes don't fit to the bottom. And then paint. You need purple, red, orange, kind of a medium between orange and yellow, and then yellow. You can have a darker red if you want to. For brushes, I mainly use this old Crayola brush. It's round and the, it's kind of flat at the bottom. And I have this little teeny tiny baby brush that broke. I use it for little teeny tiny details like putting the shading in. I'm gonna use the back of a brush for the eyes. Basically any back of a brush or anything can work. You can even use a brush to do it. I just find it's easiest to use the back of a brush. To start you're gonna want to grab your orange and dab your brush into it and just kind of kind of paint. I need to tape the canvas down. Paint kind of a blob. This blob is the fish. and put a second coat of paint on. After rinsing and drying your brush, you might find that it's not, it's more smooth. So what I do is just dab it on the table like that, and then it's back open, and we'll create the texture of scales you want. For this part, I use Brill Red. And just kind of gently dab it on there, and the parts that don't receive as much light, which would be the bottom and kind of in here where the tail is. Very gently though. And just a teeny tiny bit where this part of the fin starts. just to separate it from the body. Put the red in. It's time for some yellow, so gently dab your brush into the yellow and kind of do it towards the upper and middle of the fish. time to grab your smaller brush and dip it into the purple just a little bit and gently go over the bottoms and around the fins right here and then kind of dab it out a little I didn't 
put enough purple right there, so I'm gonna go over it again. Why is it lifting the paint? So the paint was lifting, and this is why I have the rock in here, because my short brush doesn't go all the way to the bottom of this big bowl without me having to stick all my fingers in there, so I can just rub it up against the rock and it cleans it and gets it all nice and ready for the next coat of paint. This is my favorite part of the fish. Just out of just a teeny tiny bit more yellow. Rinse off your brush, wipe it off, dab it, and then this is my favorite part. Adding the scales that reflect the light. I love that part. Use kind of a darker red. off your brush and grab the bottom of a paintbrush. Take your purple, dab the bottom of your paintbrush in it, and you take it and about right here just kind of start drawing circles with it. Wipe off the bottom of your paintbrush. Grab your yellow, dab into that, and then put it in there. Grab your purple again. Dab it into the middle. It looks a teeny tiny bit dopey, but that's kind of the point. Now grab some more purple. And just gently go over here. And there you go, you have kind of a messy goldfish. It's easier to do on things that aren't canvas because the paint for this, the fins feathers out better. And it doesn't leave like gaps because canvas is all textury. But whatever, you got a nice looking little fish.